What's up, guys? Binary for the win here, because Binary is an awesome walk back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Um, and I have no idea what I was thinking at the end of last episode, thinking, oh, well, we can continue to make a longer episode, but I can just end up uh, end off the episode and continue on. Which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do this fast, because I don't know if there's a save room between here and there, and we might not have enough time. But in any case, we have to go meet up with the... Um, with the GFS trooper that we, um, discovered is missing. Oh, discovered was taken capture. Seems legit. Um, Aurora Unit 217 or... Is the other one 212? The Aurora units haven't said anything about it, so clearly it must be legit. I also really love a f flying loading screen in this area because it's like friggin' underground and it looks neat. Sorry I keep breathing into my mic. What the heck is that? You get back here. I'm scanning you. Pirate cargo drone. Yeah, hang on, he looks a bit like an aero drone. A space pirate brain. Hang on a tick. I'm reading this floor scan. Yeah. Wait a minute. Nope. He's on canisters. Which of course probably means they explode, right? Yes. Yes they do. Once again, for whatever reason these internals just are meant to access to contact, not relieve. Really to any specific fingerprint because space pirates, either that or the space pirates have horrible security technology. Because I, their enemy, literally just do you. Alarm system. Oh. I can... Oh. Make it cross here, Morph Ball. No problem. Ain't no prob. I can make it through here. Easy. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. I thought I remembered you. Urtragian Shriek Bat, fast moving explosive flyer, eliminated close range if possible. If you recognize their model, those are the same Shriek Bats as the one that we saw on planet Aether. Oh! Unknown bioform. Oh dear. Oh, more each ones. Shriek bats. These things are hard to see. I guess I didn't drop anything. I think one of these explodes into... I thought that was the third one. I thought that last one exploded. But yeah, you know, whatever. In any case, we're heading over here. You know, for space pirate location, this it doesn't appear to have too high tech security. I mean, we're just waltzing in here. Waltzing on through. Eh, space pirates are such terrible, terrible, they have a terrible organization, like, no security whatsoever. I'm, I am making through, like, all, past all of their, okay, well, maybe there's, there, there may be a, uh, yes. I 
when you get into these red areas, run. These red areas are what activate those turrets. To a red area, get shot at. Secrets up there. Well, I think I don't want to go try for that today, so I'll get up here. And down here and go to the way we're supposed to go. It's a scanning duder. At least they have a security drone. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think breaking your security panels is usually the most effective way to stop the intruders. I think usually having an off switch that was the security password is usually the better option. But that's just me. Um, boop. 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 open a door for us? Sadly, it does not appear to open a door. You know, whatever. Made it in, we can make it out. Mm. Well, it looks like we have to go out this way. Also looks like we need a ability to interface with those magnetic rail things in order to get that missile tank. It also looks like I can just go up this way. Nope, because I need to uh, open a thing. And it looks like I've successfully managed to open a thing. Sorry about that, I just hit my mic again. So professional. Anyway, now we have successfully managed to get ourselves out of this place. That was rather loud. Don't worry, you can't scan him. But, uh, those alarms don't sound very nice. Who's he? Oh, it looks like he's ordering around these other guys. These other guys look tough, though. And there, these are commando pirates. Assault armor composed of phasite. Able to cloak and teleport. These technically aren't mini-bosses, but I'm reading this game. Any commando pirates use the best gear available. Only beams of the highest temperature can penetrate the layer of phase in their armor suit. All of their the weaponry is powered by phase -on. Each commando has combat cloaking field along with booster thrust. Wait, combat cloaking field? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, good sir. We have something to disable that. Along with boost thrusters and a personal teleporter. The phase armor they wear makes them extremely resistant to damage in, in combat. But yes, I'm gonna. These fo these uh, troops are rather frustrating and rather tanky. So yeah, I'll just deal with them that way. Speak of which, this is a lore scan, ain't it? No, that is a light. That's not a lore scan. That is a light. That is a lamp. Very different from a lore scan.
Right, you're getting a few seconds. Disable the alarms, and if you don't do it in time, you get Leap Troopers. I didn't do it in time, obviously, so I got Elite Troopers. I got, I got an Elite Trooper to the face. You're new. Actually, I don't think you are. Oh, yes, you are new. Oh, because you're a Shield Trooper. Duh. Assault Shield Trooper. You'll, you'll remember when I said that we meet these guys early, later. Um, later is now. Is that an elite trooper behind me? Or is that just a... That was indeed a elite trooper behind me. You can die now, good sir. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. If I'm not mistaken, this is the infamous room. Infamous room. These two panels in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people thought there was going to be this game called Metroid Dread, because this thing here said Project Dread. Metroid Project Dread is nearing final stages of completion. But if you scan the terminal immediately next to it, which the person who posted this online neglected to do. It said, Experiment unsuccessful. All attempts use at using Metroids as a weapon power source have failed. No, Metroid Dread does not exist. By the way, what are you? Is this another one of those rooms where you have to let the Metroids out and it'll be terrifying? I think it is. Ah yes, if you'll remember, we couldn't do this thing- oh. It's Samus's hand, that is kind of creepy. Uh, anyway, regardless. If you'll remember, there was that one time we couldn't do a thing with that one thing. Well, but now we can. Power. Okay, good. We don't actually have to pull out the power socket just yet. So for now, them Metroids are staying where they belong. This force field should disappear once the thing gets in an actual proper location where we can get it. Indeed it does. I believe we bombed to get out. Or does it just release us? It just releases us. That's convenient. You're a white pirate door. You're not the room we're going in. I want to be in. You are the room I want to be in. It leads to... Ooh, this is an interesting location, but I don't think we can actually make it there yet. But, uh... Yeah, we want to be an air shaft. Room... Some 
interesting enemy. If I remember right. There might not be interesting enemies in here. I don't I'm not sure if I'm remembering right. Also better hurry, I got like twenty minutes. Nope, don't don't hit that. Puffer mine! Cybernetic biofirm can be released in toxic gases. by the way, and somewhere around here. Oh, it must be up here. Yes, there's another lore scan. I heard, oh, right, that's the thing closing. I was like, I heard a thing! Oh. Well, 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 what have we here? Was it a thing? It looks like a suit. It is a suit. Looks like we need to interface with magnetic rails in order to get that. Interesting, but alas, we cannot deal with that just yet. So I won't bother. I'm going to try and get up some health because, you know, we're really low in the health department. Now we're significantly less low in the health department. Are there any more health? Say, uh, 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 uh. Does not look like it. So let's head this way. Hey, it's, hey! It's that one dude we came here to save! Don't worry, dude. We're here for you. Samus, thank the stars it's you. I thought I was a dead man. I think I can help you get to the seed. Okay. As I'm sure you know, the path to the seed entrance is exposed to the acid rain. However, Great. I've seen the pirates using a special suit shield that protects them from the elements. So have I. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I even know a back entrance to that location, but we'll need your help activating the lift that takes us there. Okay. We've got to engage the security lever simultaneously. Back entrance. And no, there's only two doors to go into this room, sir. I'll call out the instructions. We must synchronize our movements or the security claims won't release. Are you ready? Sure. Pull. Twist. Push. Hey. This is, by the way, a really cool elevator. Let's go, dude! Okay, guys, show me where we're going. How you doing, man? Yeah, I thought as much. 
I mean, come on, a random transmission from a random no, space pirate? You should never trust strangers, Sammy. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. You know, I've wanted to do this to you for this entire game. Because I have never liked you. Gandreda. Metamorphic bioform able to mimic numerous enemy units in battle. Gendreda's ability to shapeshift has been greatly enhanced by phase on exposure, allowing her to assume a number of deadly forms at will. These new forms come with a cost, as she also inherits their weaknesses. Mistress of Stealth, she will employ her personal cloaking field often, setting up her next deadly attack. An advanced visor system may be able to reveal her, her location. You know, I actually like this design of her a lot better. Her other design was... I remember there being, like, some weird part of her, but anyway. Can't actually damage her yet, can we? Or can we? Of course she goes into this form. A guy. So yeah, at various points in the fight, she'll... I don't know, Vend. What are you? Okay, you're just an armored. Yeah, she, uh, as you haven't noticed, is a, an electrical person. What are you changing into this time? Or are you not going to change for once? Now we're fighting on Gondreda proper. Oh, you didn't. Well, that's going... That's... Gondreda, this is taking it a bit too far, don't you think? Yes, she can even take the form of our previous bosses. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna try and see if I can collect some more health. If I can collect some more health, I'd feel a lot better about... Ah! A lot better about... better about using my hyper mode. Get off of me, you friggin' crazy lady. She's a little annoying boss. A little bit for me. She's a really annoying boss. This is the part where she goes into stealth mode, which is... Oh, no, this is the part where she does this. Which 
actually, I'm going to be honest, is not too terribly easy. I'm going to avoid using any more energy tanks from now on. She does something with these, but I forgot exactly what it is she does. I want to say that she can use these to heal, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I can see where you are. Yeah, friggin' shape sheep shape thing psycho. Unfortunately, not much I can do about her when she's in this state. But I can now. Get off of me, you friggin'. No, I. You, no, you're dying. No, you're gonna... Naturally, she drags out the fight even more, obviously. Thank you kindly for dying. Come again. Once again, it seems her powers are betraying her, and she can't keep her form. Oh, now that's disturbing. Can you imagine that? That, that would be really disturbing. Regardless, we're left a grapple beam upgrade of sorts. I'm also going to grab some of this health because I am severely low on it. Although... Yeah, this fight is... Because Gendrata is such a small target, this fight is probably one of the harder ones. But regardless, this is a grapple power of sorts. And just how Gundreda was the my least favorite hunter, this is also my least favorite upgrade. Can now sort of use a grapple to drain and insert power into things, and we can that actually does heal us. Of note. Anyway, believe it or not, the fastest way to a save room is this way, even though there isn't a save room here. Because we can go this way, and you see the symbol here, right? You see the symbol leads to that symbol there, and this is actually an entire map of the area. Well, leave. What is it? You scan this? You scan this, and you can place your hand on this, and then get your nunchuck caught in your chair. And this sort of opens up this thing. And that awesome looking train comes through, and it's like, I'm a train! Train, train! It's got the symbol for this area, which is the green station. Then we have this lever thing. Which we then do that on. I used to be able to do that really fast. And then we sort of quick travel there. And I have eight minutes to get to the save room in this episode. Oh no. This is also a really cool transition. And in general, I really do like these. Anyway, if I'm not mistaken, 
where this brings us is oh, it brings us to a lore scan first of all. The Leviathan. You can scan either of these; it doesn't matter. But uh, you can see where this brings us to is our ship. And I'm running real short on time, so guys, this has been Binary with the Wind here, because Binary is just that awesome. And the next episode will, well, we'll continue exploring the pirate homeworld. Until then. <laughs>